sciences of World War I. The Allied powers domineered by the United States, Great Britain, France, and Russia, and the Central Powers, led by Germany, Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire, among many lesser powers on both sides. Alliances with other nations undoubtedly affected the outcome of the war to determine the ultimate winner, so what if the alliances had been even a bit different? consisted initially of Serbia and Russia after Germany influenced Austria-Hungary to decide to declare war on Serbia after the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. When Germany invaded France after the mobilized for war, it made a path through Belgium which caused Belgium to retaliate and join with the Allies. Later on, Great Britain and its worldwide colonies joined, followed by the United States and others like Montenegro which joined in order to assist Serbia. War I began after the killing of Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand by Siberian assassins. Austria-Hungary declared war on the Serbia with the input of Germany. In response, Russia and France prepared their militaries, which prompted Germany to declare war on both of them. Belgium became, became involved when German soldiers passed through on their way to invade Paris, offering resistance for other countries engaged in the war. The United States, occasionally neutral, engaged in war against Germany after they violated the neutrally a conflict by attacking a neutral U.S. ship. with Austria-Hungary kick-started the war by prompting the latter to declare war on Serbia, effectively initiating the chain reaction of conflicts leading to World War I. The U.S.'s participation in Allied powers, hugely from an Allied strength of the military, and vastly affected the outcome of the war. When Great Britain became involved, it brought with it its Allied colonies in Africa and Asia. These, all together, accumulated in a huge force, outnumbering central powers and deciding the war's turnout. Based on the participation of each World War I combatant, it can be assumed that if Germany hadn't already shared an alliance with Austria-Hungary, that the war might not have started in the first place. Alternatively, if the U.S. hadn't joined Allied forces, then the war may have been extended longer but ultimately would have still led to the defeat of Central Powers. They were outnumbered even without the help of the United States. Had Great Britain had a few colonies not become involved at all meanwhile, then Allied powers would have significantly shrunk, and this may have had a considerable impact. In summation, any change in alliances could have affected the way the World War I ended, depending upon which nations went through and who allied with who. <laughs> oh my god. You're a fun. Oh my me? Yeah, you. Why? Because. Why don't you have a pee pee fight with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. World War I began after killing the Austro Hungarian Archduke Ferdinand. Ferdinand. I can't go like that. And then we do an improvised skit where we do the pew pew stuff.